Thanks for watching. We'll show how to use a copper spray gasket maker to install a head gasket, cylinder head, head gasket for the engines. So before we proceed, uh, subscribe. Subscribe for a chance to win a grand prize in future. It's only among the subscribers that lottery will be drawn. So uh, this is the head gasket maker, spray a gasket and shake it well, make sure the ball is uh, moving inside. Now, once the surface is fully clean, you can clean with some uh, carburetor or carb cleaner. Once it's resurfaced, you can make sure there's no grease gone here, right? Now, I don't wanna spray this thing onto this surface directly. Although that's what's recommended, but I think a thin layer will go inside, even if I cover, it'll go in the coolant line. So they might block the core, the heater core or rad lines later on. So instead of spraying on this surface, if I spray on the surface, it'll be very thin anyway, quick burst, six to 10 inches, about 10 inches away, quick layer, done. Not a thick layer. And same as on the other side of the head, the top part, the bottom of that, uh, maybe a quick layer or just leave it the way it is. Instead, I'll be spraying on the gasket itself. So this is a metal gasket. I'll be spraying, I'll be showing you how to spray on this. Couple of thin layers, not too thick. You don't wanna put too thick that it's gonna be uh, going through the holes or so. But remember one thing, never use this. This is RTV. Although they said uh, high temperature, it, it works very well actually, but not in the head gasket. You know why? Because this is 100% silicone. This is rubbery material, right? And this will not allow, I repeat, this will not allow the easy heat transfer across the head, across the engine. So from the bottom to the top, or top to the bottom, the heat flow has to be smooth. This will prevent that. So this will prevent as if there's a sweater in between, there's a blanket in between. You don't want that, the head will, will warp. Even if it doesn't leak, it'll leak later because the head will warp. So that's why this is for uh, head gasket spray. And in the directions, if, I'm not sure if you can read it here, See, cylinder head gasket. So, carburetor gasket. So this is the high temperature application where you need the smooth flow of heat. This will not prevent the heat flow from the bottom of the engine to the top or top to bottom. It'll go right across. So we'll take this head gasket and spray on it now. So I shake it well, this thing, make sure it's uh, shaken well. So I'm keeping it upright like this so that I can flip over and spray on both sides. There might be some nicks here and there. Make sure, inspect your gasket, right? Make sure there's no damaged area. If there are some damaged area, you might wanna spray second or third coat around that. But uh, try to make it as, as even as possible. So I'll do it here first. Practice like this a little bit and then
So this side is done. Now flip it over nicely. It's tacky. So wait for a couple of minutes, then place it in the, on the head, head. So the gasket is on now. It could go this way, it also flips over and goes the other way. It's, I guess it's the same. So there's no difference really. But make sure these two holes are at the two holes here, otherwise the ball's not gonna go in. So now the head gonna go on top of it. And as I said before, it's best to have this, this is the uh, uh, knock sensor, cylinder knock sensor and oil filter. And below that is the oil pressure switch. So that oil pressure switch or sensor, the oil filter and this no detonation knock sensor, replace these. These are very cheap. Put a brand new good quality stuff there. This is very difficult to change this once the head is on. And also uh, these wire breaks, they break very easily here or the other one. So the oil pressure switch, uh, wire breaks right here actually i can't remember which one uh, this this guy so it is broken here so it's be best to cut it open and uh, like put a new piece instead of keeping the old piece before putting the cylinder head make sure the dowel pins and one goes here another goes here are there there are only two dowel pins in the Honda engines, usually four cylinders at the back of it. The front holes do not have uh, dowel pins. So these dowel pins are attached to the head, cylinder head. When you install it, sometimes they fall. Make sure it doesn't fall. Maybe you put like some uh, gas tab or tad of gasket maker or so to hold it there and then install. Make sure the cylinders are all nice and clean. So this has all new pistons now. So the head is on and the head bolts are in. And so to tighten the head bolts, uh, of course, uh, I start from the center across, then go across, zigzag across and outward both sides, right? So not one side at once, then other side. No, no, no. So tighten this one, this one, then this one, this one, this one, this one, then this one, this one, then this one, this one. And tightening, first I set to like 20 foot pound, the torque wrench. Then I set to 35, then 50, then 65, then 72. For H22A, most of these Honda engines are 72 foot-pound torque, right? So you need a torque wrench like this. Oops. So, and the setting is there. Now, one trick. You don't have to do this, but I, what I did, 
The book spec is 72 foot pounds for the head bolts. Because I sprayed copper spray and that's tacky, I, I suspect that that will held this whole head a little bit up and that might give a false torque. So instead of setting, uh, doing the final torques at 72, I'll do, I did the 72, so 72 is done. But now I'll do another run with 74. So two foot pounds more than book the specs, right? Uh, two reasons, as I said, that the spray that I sprayed is that can give a false torque, is pretty gluey. And the other thing is this ex extension bar that we had to use in the torque 